Right guys, it's Monday morning, back at Encarns HQ. It's a nice sunny day, but unfortunately we're stuck inside. And uh, without further ado, let's show you what's going on with Joe's G-Wagon. So it's almost complete, ready for the handover. Uh, the technician's currently just building back up all the parts inside the car, the door cards. He's just building everything back up. The G-Wagon's all being resprayed to matte black. The bumpers, the center grille, headlights, bonnet, the wings, the arches, everything's all being installed, fitted. So the door strips have been fitted. Uh, they just need a wrapping in gloss black. So we'll be getting all these silver trims in here wrapped to gloss black. Then that way the car will be color coordinated. So it's gonna be matte black and it'll have gloss black accents around the car. So these will be gloss black. The vents will be a gloss black. Front bumper covers here are gloss black. This Pan America center grille is gloss black with the badge. So it's all two-tone gloss black and matte black. The mirrors over here are also gloss black. Side steps over here are gloss black as well. These badges are gloss black. So it's all gonna be color coordinated. It's all gonna tie in very, very well. The alloy wheels, so these wheels will be getting changed. This is how the car came in. Uh, we're gonna be putting on the 22 inch gloss black shuriken alloy wheels with the mud track tires. So once all that's done, it's gonna be looking like a really, really stealthy G-Wagon, fully blacked out, black on black. And uh, when it first came in, this car was not in the best of conditions. And uh, it's, I think it's a 2005, 2006 model. So it's a very, very old G-Wagon. I don't even think it had LED headlights. I think it was like the old school, old fashioned halogen bulbs. So it's had a lot of work done to this G-Wagon. And uh, now, you can't even tell it's the same car. So we've got the B-roll of when the car came in, when it was getting built up, and now it's fully transformed with the G-Wagon facelift body kit. So if you look at the footage now, here's a quick rundown of how the car came in and what it's looking like now. Down on what's currently at the NCANS HQ workshop. So we've got BMW X5 here for a sport aero body kit. The technicians are currently getting the parts ready for preparation to fit them onto the vehicle. If you come around the back of the car, some of these parts have already been fitted, the rear roof spoiler, mid spoiler and diffuser. They've just got the side skirts and the front splitter left. So this is like a quick one day or two day transformation. Um, it's a light, subtle body kit and um, as you can see, it makes a completely big transformation. To this corner over here so this is the defender 110 that came in for the falcon body kit conversion the defender has been fully resprayed to matte black very very similar to joe's g-wagon over there so it's had a full respray we've fitted the falcon front bumper apron the center grille so all these parts are two-tone so the apron the center grille all these accents are gloss black and they really, really complement the matte black very, very well. So it's a very, very, very aggressive Defender. And once it's all done, it's gonna be looking something very, very similar to Lee's Defender that we did earlier on in, uh, I think a couple of months ago. Came from Glasgow, Edinburgh with his Defender and uh, it'll be looking very, very similar to his. Uh, some of the things he's done on this are slightly different. For example, he's painted the calipers in red uh, instead of blue. Lee went for blue calipers. Uh, he's gone for a gloss black snorkel. In a nutshell, it'll be very, very similar to Lee's 
Uh, but as you can see already, it's almost complete. The wheels are here with the mud track tires. Uh, the calipers have been uh, resprayed to red. Um, there's just a few little bits that need fit into the vehicle. For example, the back arches are still left. Uh, the side steps, the car came in with some silver side steps, so we're going to be changing them to gloss black, so it's all fully blacked out, triple black, black on black. The back bumper apron is left also, so it's almost there, it's nearly complete. So stay tuned for the Defender 110, it's almost complete, and this is a very, very big transformation. Well, the cars are currently getting customised upstairs at Incans HQ. We've got Rashid here from London. How's it going, Rashid? You okay? Assalamualaikum, Madam. Thank you. How are you? All good, all good. So, uh, Rashid dropped off this G Wagon last week to get it customised. So, Rashid, I'll let you introduce to the viewers why you bought this G Wagon down to us. The G, G Wagon I bought it for my, uh, my missus. I just became a father of a little princess. So it's a surprise for her. So I came all the way from London. I heard about Econs a lot. I follow them on Insta and YouTube and things like that. And they have done a brilliant job. As you can see, when I came here, I waited two weeks, but trust me, it's worth it. My wife has no clue whatsoever what is coming for her. So <laughs> it's gonna be bow tie, some balloons, and some cover coming as well. Inshallah, this Saturday is gonna be the biggest surprise for her. It was her dream car. She knew it's gonna be a car coming, but it, she thought it's, it's gonna be a Defender, but she didn't know it's her dream car, G-Wagon. So well done to Ikhans. Thank you so, so much, brother, for I your appreciate. wonderful work. Thank you for your kind words. And uh, hopefully she appreciates the car and she likes the car. <laughs> but She'll love it. It's a really nice color. It's like a midnight blue, purpley color. Really nice color. Um, and I'll quickly run you through what we've done. So we've fitted a new front splitter with the DRL lights in there. New bonnet scoop in gloss black and a front roof light bar. So it's blue with little subtle bits there so a front lip bonnet scoop front roof spoiler come around the back of the car we fitted a rear roof spoiler as well so the rear roof spoiler and uh, these are just a few little subtle modifications that we've done normally for the g-wagon we do a facelift conversion but for the customers that don't really want to be changing the whole look of the car and they just want a few little subtle bits doing this is what we can offer for the w463 models so a little lip kit subtle accents and uh, rashid has come all the way from london to get this G-Wagon customized. So, uh, happy with the job, Rashid? Uh, absolutely, Alhamdulillah, it's, it's wonderful. I didn't expect that it's gonna be look that nice. Yeah. But, um, and mashallah, it's, it's well done. No, no, it's good to hear, because when you first came, you were a bit confused, you didn't know. Oh, it was a nightmare, <laughs> so I, it was a nightmare thinking, I've been thinking, what should I do? Which way should I go? But thanks to you, thanks to Nabai, they've been helping a lot, Wahabai as well in uh, London, he yeah. helped me a lot to choose. This is the best contrast with the black. Yes, yes, Sorry, yes. Black, with the black and the blue, 100%. Yeah, it's, 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 it's looking really, really monster. Yeah, 100%, it's very monstrous now. I remember when you first came, you saw a couple of G-Wagons yeah. and you got lost. You didn't know which option to go for. <laughs> exactly, when I see the other, other ones, I don't know. My head was scrambled, but <laughs> yeah. Nabai told me, go with the standard and uh, don't do too much, yeah. basics and uh, that will look nice, exactly how it's looking. At it's like moment. a little, it's not too loud, it's just right in between. Yeah. And especially if it's a gift for somebody and you wanted the car back very, very quickly, so... Uh, you can imagine the reaction of her, we have lots of plan. Yeah. There's some photographer coming as well. Yeah. And uh, I will send you the video. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good. It's, 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 it's gonna be massive, massive. I'm really <laughs> happy. I got a good one as well, as you can see. Uh, it's my hard work paid off. No, of course, of course. <laughs> so while... Uh, while you're um, talking about this gift, why do you uh, let the viewers know what do you do for work? What's the recipe to success? The younger viewers out there, how can they be successful and own a G-Wagon like this one day? Well, dream big. I was telling to my younger brother when I was coming here, it's okay to be scared of failure. It's okay to be scared that I'm not going to succeed. But it's not okay to be scared of not trying. So keep trying. Don't be scared of keep trying. I was a kitchen potter before. I used to work in a McDonald's. It was a, a very hard work, and, but I never give up. Now I got few companies, Alhamdulillah, all done by myself with my partner. So she's been helping me a lot. So two things, remember, look after your parents and look after your omen. You will succeed, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good, it's good. Uh, Marshall, I've done very, very well there, brother. And uh, words of wisdom for the viewers out there. So uh, work hard in life. There's no limit. You can just keep going. 
and you just got to dream big exactly. and have them aspirations. So uh, without further ado, Rashid, Thank you, brother. I'll let you head on to uh, London uh, with your G-Wagon. Thank you, brother. So Thank take so care, much. brother, and all the best. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Right guys, so we've got Joe here from Chester. He's been very, very patient. It's been a while uh, since we last spoke to him and his G-Wagon is all done and complete. So without further ado, uh, let's take Joe outstairs and show him the G-Wagon. Right, Joe, unfortunately, I told you come down for 2.30, but while we were getting the car prepped and everything, you rolled up in your transporter van with your dad yeah. And uh, unfortunately, you've already seen the car. <laughs> yeah, we've seen so, it. Caught so, eye straight off the bat, to be fair. So the reveal won't be the natural reveal, but nonetheless, we'll go around the car, show you what we've done, yeah. and uh, give us your feedback on what you think of the car. It's unreal, isn't it? So give us a quick rundown. What year is the car? Uh, 2006. 2006? Yeah. G63? Yeah. It used to be grey. Different now. Yep, completely <laughs> different colour. So you've gone for a matte black respray the full car let's quickly give you a rundown of what we've actually changed on the car we've changed the bonnet we've put the new facelift headlights in there the headlamp covers the new pan america center grille g63 style front bumper coming around the side of the car you've got the 22 inch gloss black shurikens with the mud track tires really really aggressive stance gloss black mirrors so we've gone for like a two-tone on this car. So gloss black accents all around the car, gloss black, these side strips in gloss black, the wheels, these mirrors here, these little fins, front bumper trims. It's all uh, blacked out, fully blacked out. Side steps wrapped in black, coming around the back of the car. New rear bumper, new facelift rear light. The wheel cover, your old one is quite damaged. Yeah. That's so we've got a new wheel cover on there. We've sprayed the face of it matte black, gloss Perfect. black Unreal. on the outside. So uh, what do you think, Joe? Oh, absolutely made up, to be fair. Yeah, completely different car altogether. Caught our eye when we were just down the road. It's like, wow, is this actually ours? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, mega job. Mega nice. job, fair play. Great to hear, great to hear. What else was I going to ask you? Caddy, what does Caddy mean? Caddy is our family name. Um, okay. It's, it's like a nickname, to be fair, because obviously we own a company which is called Cadwell Limited. Limited. Okay. Um, and short on that, it's Caddy. Right, right. So for the viewers out there, what's the key to success? So. The G-Wagon is a very, very nice, expensive car and everyone dreams of having a G-Wagon one day. So what's the, the recipe to success? How can the younger audience out there, how can they be aspirational? How can they, what do they need to do to afford a car like this? And Just don't be silly and, you know, work hard at stuff really and, you know, um, keep positive and never really look down, I'd say. So what do you guys do for work then? We rent out trailers, uh, refrigerated trailers, so like these big companies, um, like supermarkets, pharmaceuticals, right, uh, right, anything right. meat related also. Um, so we're a hire company. We do sell, sell new stuff as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, no, that, that's basically in the cold chain work really. Right, right, interesting. So there you've got Joe's insights on uh, what they do for work and what the key is to success on how to have a luxury car like a G-Wagon. And I know Joe and his dad are in a very, very big hurry, so we'll let them go and enjoy the G-Wagon. So uh, Joe, I'll leave you and your dad to it. Perfect. All thank the best much. with the G-Wagon, and I uh, hope you're happy uh, with the result. Really happy, yeah, thank you very much for your Thank service. you, Joe, take care. Right, guys, so that was Joe and his dad there that have just come to pick up the G-Wagon. They were in a mega, mega hurry. I was telling them, relax, calm down, you've waited so long for the G-Wagon, and now it's time for the reveal, but unfortunately, they were pulling up and the G-Wagon was already here outside. So they'd seen the car already and they're just starstruck and they wanted to just get the payment and everything all done. And they just wanted to shoot off back to enjoy the weather and the G-Wagon. So uh, unfortunately, I could not get their natural reactions and they were just, they just wanted to get out of here with the car. So you've already seen what it looked like when it came in and you've just seen what it looks like now. So it's a mega, mega transformation. So if you've got a G-Wagon out there and you also want to customize your G-Wagon, give us a call. We'll be more than willing to accommodate you um, and get your G-Wagon customized just like Joe's. So uh, hope you enjoyed the vlog. Stay tuned for some bigger and better vlogs.